First up, I wanted to bring you up to date with an observation of mine from Parliament today. The beleaguered submarine building project provided a bit of a change of pace in question time today, I thought. Here was Labor focusing on a real and substantive dilemma and an area of policy where I think the government is vulnerable. This also gave us a look, a rare look, at the former Environment Minister, Melissa Price, who was in a witness protection program during the last election campaign and afterwards was demoted to, to the junior ministry for defence industry. Now, with concerns about the costs and timeline of the French-designed submarines to be built in Adelaide, there was a front-page story in the Australian newspaper today saying that less than half of the work might be done by Australian companies, partly because there are concerns about the level of skills and expertise available here. Labor pressed price on this issue in Question Time today. The actual proportion of Australian content on the submarines, Mr Speaker, will be determined as the design of the submarines is completed. And as you heard, that created quite a stir in Labor ranks and no doubt it will rankle with a lot of taxpayers right across this country. We quite rightly expect to get maximum bang for the tens of billions of our bucks being spent on this project. So, of course, Labor follow, followed up in question time. The contract for Australia's Collins-class submarines included a requirement for 70 per cent local content, which was ultimately exceeded. This government asserted to Australian workers that 90 per cent of the future submarines contract would be local content. So why on earth is there no binding percentage requirement for local content in the government's contract for the future submarines? We won't be lectured by those opposite, Mr Speaker. We will not Member be lectured. Member for Rankin is warned. I'd like to know how many submarines those opposite were considering to build. I think it's zero. I don't think this issue is going away, and nor should it. I'll have another look at it tomorrow. But my prediction is that Melissa Price will stay in Labor's sights for some time to come.